I'm sitting on a little hill overlooking Los Angeles right around sunset. And I was thinking about the last, uh, the energetics of the last couple of days. You know, there have been uh, various solar flares. I think two or three M class flares and one X class flare. And an incoming CME uh, glanced into the atmosphere of Earth as it came through. And so there's been a lot of commotion celestially. And I thought I'd talk for a minute about how it's affected me personally. My cat and I are very sensitive to those kinds of solar activities. And um, uh, so I felt the effects of it. I felt a lot of clearing coming up. And of course, as it's coming up, it doesn't feel so good. It, it, it feels commotional. And um, I saw it in other people, too. I saw their auras uh, lit up with things that they were, it seemed to be clearing a lot of stuff, everybody. And uh, that I ran into one day in particular. <laughs> it was quite a day. <laughs> And um, last night I, I, I was sitting with, and something really extraordinary happened for me. It was as if I had been bringing up samskaras, you know, our auric imperfections. I could hear them uh, clear audiently, and I could feel them energetically. And um, I had been feeling them nonstop. Sometimes I'd wake up at night and I'd feel strange um, energetic effects and like that. And um, my mind would tell me one thing, something very dramatic. But by feeling the um, the energy of the situation, I saw that my mind is a bit of an alarmist. You know, it comes up with the most horrible conclusions about things that are purely energetic changes in the body. And uh, one night in particular, I remember I woke up just a couple of nights ago, and I and my mind has said to me, "You're dying." And I said to myself, "Why is it saying that?" <laughs> so then I felt myself energetically, and I could feel little batches of cells sort of jumping around like they were they were dancing, separate little batches of search one batch and maybe in my lower abdomen, and then something in my foot, <laughs> someplace else. And the mind puts, uh, you know, puts its own interpretation on energetic things. But lots of times the mind is completely wrong, you know. In this case, it was just my energy was shifting. And uh, it took a little trust to, to just understand that nothing bad was happening. So, um, I, to continue with my story, it was an incredible meditation. And... Um, I felt it was if um, a process, a very complicated, way beyond me process happened where light came in above me and, and filled in the imperfections in my aura, what some people call um, wounding, uh, soul wounding. And so the light was coming in and it was filling in like tiny bit by tiny bit. It was, it was a masterpiece. And it was coming in in different directions. It would hit something in my head up here, and then it would hit something in my left side, and then it moved to my, my high heart. And by the time it was finished, at the end of the meditation, I felt completely different as a person. And fortunately, this effect has lasted all day long today. So I have um, nothing but wonderful things to say about this solar energy that comes in feels like maybe we're dying, but actually we're kind of being reborn or reworked or refashioned into something, something whole and happy and sane. So I'm wishing you the best through these solar flares. I hope your mind can see it the way your body can feel it. And I'm wishing you all the best. Y'all take care.